With the 18.2 release of Groupwise Messenger, we now have the ability to send and receive files through the client interface. In order for this to work, there are some things that need to be done. Here is a quick checklist that covers the basics. First, you want to make sure your Groupwise backend is upgraded to 18.2. There are some admin interface issues you might run into otherwise. Another requirement is at least one MTA must have LDAP enabled. This isn't a new requirement, but if you're just setting that up, remember to restart the GW admin service on that server so the changes are enabled. Then you can install and configure the 18.2 Messenger software. The file transfer feature is not enabled by default. To enable it, access the Groupwise Administration web page, select the Messenger option in the left panel, drill down on your Messenger service, and then select the policy you want to modify. In my case, I only have the single default policy, but your system may well be more complex. And here is the new option on the bottom of the General tab. Simply check the box to enable file transfer. Please note the file size limitation setting here. The default is a single megabyte. Consider potential disk space issues if you open this up to huge files. The files are not permanently stored, but they are temporarily stored in the Arango database. 30 days is the default save option. You can change that setting under the Messaging Agent object on the Agent Settings tab. Again, at the bottom of this page is, is that new setting. You can preserve those files for up to a year if desired. Personally, I think a week is probably good for my test system, so I'll drop that down to just seven days. The idea here is that you may receive a file from a coworker and maybe you don't have time to deal with it right now. You can open that conversation at a later time and the link to the file will still work. In my case, that link will remain active for seven days. I'll show you that in just a minute. Now let's take a look at the client side options. With the new client installed, click on Tools menu, then Options, and finally, the new File Transfer option is here again on the bottom of the list. You have a couple of options available to customize how this is going to work. The first box allows your client to automatically download files as soon as someone sends you one. This action will take place without requiring user input. With the box unchecked, you will need to manually initiate a download action when you receive a file. The second option here allows you to specify a location for all Messenger file downloads. The default is your Windows Profile download path, but you can change it as needed. If you leave it unchecked, you will be prompted to choose a location for the download each time you receive a file. Now that we've got everything set up, I'll walk through sending a file. If I need to send a file to Liz, I can right-click on her name and simply select the Send File option from that quick menu. Similarly, the Actions menu at the bottom of the contact window has a Send File option as well. If I open a chat window with Liz, then the Send File option will be right here as well. I can simply browse to the file needed and send it off to Liz. And here is what Liz sees. The chat window opens and there is a link to the file I sent. When I click it, the download starts and there is a notification here at the bottom of the window that the file transfer is complete. Thanks for watching. We hope this information is helpful and that you find the new features of the Groupwise 18.2 Messenger useful. Thank you. Thank you.